Gather round, boys and girls. We've got some eBay updates coming down the pipeline. I've skimmed over them. I believe they are extremely pertinent to our businesses. So now we'll go over them in their holistic greatness. And uh, I'll give you my reaction, talk about what this might mean for the future of both eBay and our small businesses. My name is Blake. Please, if you're new here, subscribe. Love talking everything small business, e-commerce, online, eBay, Amazon related. And I want you here too as a part of this community of go-getters and self-starters. Let's check it out. We've got three main updates. The first one's the business results. The second two are kind of related. So let's go over and see how much money eBay made in Q1 2022. Yesterday, we released eBay's Q1 earnings reports to strong results. Here are some key takeaways. eBay performance came at the high end of expectations. In the first quarter of 2020, we reported 1.9, sorry, 19.4 billion GMV and 142 million active buyers. I'm not sure what GMV is. Are we going to see what that is later on here? Global monthly viewers, if I had to guess. Our strategy remains sound, smart, and durable. Sustained investment in focus categories continues to pay off as we double down on trust and authenticity, innovation, and engaging enthusiast communities. So I'm thinking sneakers, uh, collectibles, watches, NFTs. I'm sure they're just salivating over the prospect of ripping off a bunch of dummies <laughs> who want to throw away their life savings into JPEGs. eBay's purpose is translating into a powerful differentiator, especially with younger consumers. eBay's purpose is translating into what the heck does that mean? Okay. From almost every angle, we saw a strong start to a new year. They're reiterating this stuff. Reiterating, reiterating. You, our sellers, unfailingly deliver for our buyers around the world, and I'm grateful and proud for your critical role in these results. Focus categories continue to accelerate for more than 24 months. We're investing in improving end-to-end -end experiences. That means they're doing, they're offering free things. They're going to take away these free things later. Um, watches, sneakers, handbags, P&A, refurbished and trading cards. Is P&A like uh, slabbed maybe and uh, and most are the fastest growing businesses on eBay most notably the launch of the authenticity guarantee continues to pay dividends wow 71% of all goods come from enthusiast buyers who spend an average of three grand a year shopping up to 30 times our luxury watch category continues to grow double digits I sold a Rolex that was awesome very easy very simple it was pretty cheap too so what I'm guessing is that they're trying to bring in buyers and maintain or, or establish this giant market share in all these niche enthusiast categories. Then they're going to jack up the prices later on. That's what they do. It's what Amazon, it's what, it's what eBay seems to do quite often. Uh, we've expanded luxury handbags, authentication in new markets, and sneakers. Celebrity collabs are in high gear from partnerships with star athletes like PJ Tucker to paying tribute to the top women of sneaker culture. The sneaker headlines keep rolling in at the same time that customer satisfaction is at near historic levels and GMV, I think that's global monthly views, is growing significantly faster than the rest of the business. Enhancing eBay Motors to capitalize on ongoing supply chain log jams. We'll see if that continues. Trading cards remains one of our most robust businesses. We extended the authenticity guarantee on ungraded cards to 750 and launched the vault. I haven't checked out the vault yet. I'm assuming it's a way to like, here's all my cards I have, you know, like to like show off your collection and also sell. I don't know. Well, let's, let's find out. Let's click on this and find out. Um, this week we announced our new partnership with CGC, CSG and PSA to leverage their world-class grading precision and expertise and to take eBay's trading card game to the next level. So here's what eBay Vault is. This came out uh, March 10th. Um, can I get a quick answer for what this is? Once an item is in the eBay Vault, customers know their valuables are secure and the instant sale becomes possible. Is this is this FBA for collectibles? Huh, wow. 
The future, the market for trading cards and collectibles continues to accelerate, and the eBay is the biggest trading platform for these categories. Our headline announcement today was eBay Vault, coming next quarter, a 31,000 square foot secure story footage and digital marketplace for trading cards and collectibles. So it does sound like it's FBA for collectibles. That would be crazy. That's insane. If they can do that, I don't know how much they're going to charge. I assume it's going to be free for the first few years probably. So stock up on your collectibles and send them to eBay vault. I should do a whole, a whole video on this. Wow. Let's get back to today's video though. Leading with purpose. Gen Z is expected to be the dominant global consumer and economic driver in a few years. If they have any money, uh, say the main reason to shop on eBay is their economic value. Okay. So this is mostly just, uh, we're cheering on ourselves for you know, being the biggest fish in the sea and being able to try and sequester markets before smaller, more agile companies can. I'm curious when they're going to announce that they're going straight into live auctions like Whatnot is. Um, love the vault. That seems really cool. If I could FBA several thousand cards or I'm calling it FBA. For those of you who don't know, FBA is fulfilled by Amazon. They are your logistics. If eBay will do logistics, and shipping for trading cards like the way like comc does that would be a game changer that would be huge that, that would they would completely dominate the market and they would really i would be terrified if i was uh somebody who's doing like comc i would be terrified if i was them and ebay is going into that marketplace let's check out the other updates check out our new redesigned seller center to improve your selling skills and grow your business, yada, 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 videos, podcasts, social media, our active community where buyers, staff, and sellers like you come sh share, connect, and learn. Here's what, ooh, grants. We'll talk about the grants in a second. Zero final value fees if you drive traffic to your own listings. Uh, okay, so basically they're just, again, highlighting the things they have. They've got eBay business on YouTube. A collection of how-to seller storytelling. Why haven't you reached out to me, eBay? Are you out of your mind? Uh, and their podcast and this. The most, what I'm most curious about is these seller grants. Ten grand in cash uh, and personalized training to grow your business. She seems to like it. Let's check it out. Today, eBay uh, announced the launch of its third annual up and running grants with Hello Alice opening today for nominations eBay's 2022 up and running grants will award $10,000 grants to 50 active eBay small businesses in the U S for such for needs, such as physical and digital store improvements, new equipment, inventory, technology, hiring, and training to support their success. Nominate me. <laughs> All interested in eligible business owners can apply for a grant here starting today through June 10th. I am definitely going to check that out. Uh, let's see. Growth and community diversity. Uh, well, maybe they're not going to give it to me. <laughs> uh, each year, the fund spotlights small businesses for their individuality, creativity, and community accomplishments with the goal of investing in a diverse range of small business owners to advance their long-range business goals and growth. Small businesses are the backbone of eBay bring their rich and diverse inventory to create the world's most vibrant marketplace, said Andrea Stairs. VP of eBay seller community. The strength of our economy depends on small business owners, true, and our up and running grants is part of eBay's ongoing commitment to empowering them. We continue to find new ways to invest in small businesses and make eBay their platform of choice, offering community, counsel, a support system, and funding. Okay. Looks like they're giving you 10 grand. Uh, Hello Alice is how you're going to have your mentorship. And um, that's pretty much it. Let's see what the, the form looks like. Applications are not open for the eBay up and running grants. An existing eBay seller with an active listing in the past six months and with an above standard or top rate performance level or a new seller. So that's cool. I like that. If you, Basically, you're new or someone who's been doing it for a while. You can get this. Um, I am definitely going to apply for this because who doesn't want $10,000 and I'm sure I could learn a bit too, because there's always a chance for you to improve your business. All right. What are the main takeaways? I mean, you saw it, but in my opinion, we've got two really big things that this is telling us three. If you count the eBay vault, uh, detour, I took big thing. Number one, eBay is going headstrong 
into these collectible niche communities. And in order to seize up the market, they're going to offer services like authentication for free, as well as uh, lucrative fee structures. Is this gonna be around forever? No, I don't think so. I think that as soon as they get to whatever KPI they wanna hit, uh, then they're going to take away a lot of those services and things that were free and it's going to become expensive and the market will rise up. And then, you know, two years after that, we're going to have some startup come in who focuses on those niche communities. And it's going to be just like an arms race all over again. But for the time being, what they were talking about, sneakers, collectibles, handbags, watches, um, cards, probably video games too. I think that there's going to be, because eBay is subsidizing a lot of the authentication process, that's going to be a good market to be in. Number two, the vault. That's awesome. I want to learn more about it. I'll do a video on that probably this week or maybe next week about what it might be, what it'll entail, who it's going to screw over and who it's going to benefit. Spoiler alert, I think it's going to benefit sellers in the short term and kind of like what Amazon has done or what I think eBay is going to do with these other niche categories. Once they have a stranglehold, uh, they're going to, you know, jack the prices up. Now, number three, and I think the most interesting thing is these $10,000 grants and mentorship through Hello Alice. So we've got, let's see, there's about one month left. I think it's, yeah, today's May 9th. So a month and a day left to um, nominate yourself or someone else. I'm not really sure how that works. Uh, and then I don't know how they're gonna decide. I have a strange feeling it's not gonna be based on like who has the most potential to use this $10,000 to grow their business. I think more they're using this as like marketing ploy. Probably they're gonna be like, oh look, we helped person X, Y, and Z who fits these demographics we're pursuing and we'll use them as like leverage to uh, earn graces with this community, whatever it is. I think we're gonna see a lot of that. You're gonna find guys who like sneaker painting or I do things just like that, where it's really not the best use of that $10,000 in terms of somebody who does like wholesale, for example, could really use that. Uh, but that being said, I do think it's worth applying for. I mean, 10 grand is 10 grand, and I doubt the application process takes more than a half hour. Uh, so you should do that if you're an eBay seller and you qualify, or if you're not an eBay seller, share the news, post on social media. You know, I'm sure there are a lot of people out there who could really deserve this. And that's why I want to ask you as we end the video in the comments below, tell me what would you do with $10,000 straight from eBay? Maybe they'll watch the video. So put your eBay store, put what you do with the 10 grand and let's hope and pray that eBay, please, eBay sees this uh, because maybe you'll be a winner. See you later. I'm Blake. Please like and subscribe. And uh, this Friday, great Dollar Tree video. Watch that one too.